will, will you keep in place the policies that your predecessor that was actually had the trust of the credit agency had put in place? The, the trust of the ratings agencies is based on the sustainability and consistency of the economic policies of government and the country. And they don't depend on an individual. So there is nothing that I am going to do as an individual that is going to change the policies that have been decided collectively by government. In terms of fiscal management, in terms of fiscal consolidation, in terms of um, not spending beyond the budget ceiling that we have set ourselves and continuing to implement the structural reforms in the economy, I am going to keep on with that. Of course, we have to accelerate those programs because there are genuine expectations in our society and we need to deal with those issues, but within the, the, the fiscal ceiling that we have set ourselves. I mean, Minister, I guess the investors are still trying to find out more about you, right? And something that made markets a little bit nervous was the appointment of an economic advisor Chris Malikane who's considered or who has talked in the past about uh, wholesale nationalization but also the formation of a platinum cartel with, with certain other countries why his appointment I think in, in every government you you do not appoint people with um, homogeneous views because you need to be able to get the best of the opinion available in your country to be able to balance those views in implementing your policies and choosing the right policy packages for your country. Professor Malikane is, in the first instance, an economics professor, so he's not a voodoo economist. His opinions don't... Uh, they don't constitute the opinions of the minister. He is not the minister himself. He advises the minister in the midst of a whole range of experts available in the Treasury. I think everybody would have to be concerned if we, we, we simply appointed homogeneous opinions the, to, to advise the minister. And we would also have to be concerned if all we did in South Africa was to neglect the poverty, the unemployment that is persistent in our society. So what it does is to come in the midst of uh, DDGs who are equally um, experienced and skilled, who are going to provide me with balanced views yeah. about how we need to move forward. But ultimately, yeah. I am the minister and I take my cue from government as well as the ruling party. Uh, 